welcome. This video is going to show you how to configure Maligno to run together with Metasploit in a single server. So right now we have one machine running Kali Linux, which is the attacker, and the setup here will have Maligno running together with Metasploit, all in one single machine. On the other side we will have one victim machine running Windows, and uh, let me show you how the workflow will be. So first of all, Malekna will generate the payloads as we saw before and uh, the payloads will be ready to, for delivery. The client will request one of these payloads and Malekna will then deliver it. At this point, what Malekna is sending is actually the stage one of the Meterpreter payload. When stage 1 arrives to the victim, it will be injected into memory and then executed and that will make the client talk to Metasploit so it can download stage 2 of Meterpreter. When stage 2 is delivered, the machine will be then compromised and the attacker will have then control over the machine. Let's have a look at how this could be done in practice. So here we have the Malikno folder, just like we saw in previous videos. And this is the server configuration. Having, in this case, we're going to focus on a meterpreter reverse HTTP. So we are all set here. So let's start Metasploit. Okay. Let's open a terminal. And here, let me generate a few clients. So the clients are ready. Here we see that we have three different clients. I am going to focus, just like I said, on reverse HTTP. And for the sake of this demonstration, I will uh, deploy the, uh, the client via a shared folder. And we will run it directly with the Python script. We will see in other videos how we can do it with uh, a binary made by points dollar. So the client is in place. Let's start Maligno. So it's going to generate the payloads. It will take just a moment. And here in the meantime we can see that the MSF resources are being populated right now. Let's open a terminal as well. And let's prepare the MSF console. So my link is ready. And the MSF console as well. So if we go to the victim machine, here we see it's a Windows 7 machine. Let me get the client and let's just run it. 
Uh, keep in mind that I have already installed uh, Python 2.7 and PyCrypto. So we will be able to run the exact payload with the Python script here on, on this machine. Let me see if I have to provide the whole yes, the whole path. Okay, there it is. And there we go. Right now the script is ex executed and if we go to the attacking machine we see that Maligno has delivered the payload in this case with ID 0 and then Meterpreter has connected to Metasploit. So if we interact with the session This is in fact the the victim machine. Let's try a small change here on the configurations. Let me see on the profiles. Let me change the standard profile so we get a, a delay before the actual payload is executed. Let me see, for example, um, let's get a 10 seconds maximum delay. Let's generate a new client here. Here we go. Let's deploy the new example. And then let's clear the screen. Okay, let me go over there. And let's try once again. So the victim this time is going to run the shell code with a random delay which goes between one second and ten which was what we have configured so let me run here and go back to here we see Okay, we got our session. Okay, let me close it. Let me open it again. Here it comes and then the stage comes again. So as you see, the steps are going just like I described before. First of all, Malekno delivers stage one, and then when the, the, the shell code is executed in, in the client, it will go back to Metasploit to download stage two. And from there, here we have our session. Okay, perfect. So this is what I had in mind for this video. Um, just let you know that when you stop the Maligno server with Control C, it will auto clean all the caching and the MSF resources. Thanks for watching.